So hello everyone in this video we'll be understanding about Google OAuth 2 with Passport.js in Node.js. First of all I'll be giving the overview of this application which I have created. So basically there are some cases when we want to allow users to sign in with their Gmail or Google account in our application. So to implement that functionality I'm using Passport.js to implement Google OAuth 2 authentication screen. So let's say I have this protected route which doesn't let me in without any login uh, information. So let's say I have this protected page. So I cannot see the content here because I'm not logged in yet. So to see the content I can go back to the home page and sign in or log in with the, my Google account. I can click on this login with Google. Now if I click on any of the Gmail account I have, so it will give me the login token and the information which you see here, this Aftan Ahmed is coming from my Google account. So basically we have created this login functionality. Also I am setting the information in the session, so in the storage, we have this cookie here which is being set while we are logging in this application. If I refresh the page, so the login functionality will not lost. But if I go to logout route, so it will uh, delete the session from the application. Also, if somebody, let's say, deletes this cookie, at that time also, we wouldn't be able to actually get this application or like get the content here. You can see it is again saying me unauthorized because we are not logged in now because we have deleted the cookie. That's why. Now I can again log in into the application and then we'll be able to actually see the content again. I have created a basic UI uh, to like just major focus was on the backend. So in the Node.js side, we were focusing on that. You can implement any type of any fancy UI you want, but you just need to understand the functionality of the backend first. Then you can implement any uh, UI with the help of EJS or any framework like uh, Angular or React.js library. So you can do that by your own, but let's just understand this process in a simpler way. So in the next video, we'll be starting our application from scratch, building this application from scratch. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.